Tonight at 10, an abandoned building once operated by a homeless outreach program in Wahewa has become a magnet for homelessness and crime. As our Eddie Dowd reports, the former nonprofit also owes tens of thousands of dollars. Ever since the nonprofit Achieve Zero closed its doors nearly nine months ago, residents say it's become a place of squatters and suspicious activity. Mountains of personal belongings, shopping carts, and trash bags have littered the sidewalk along Mango Street for months. Worse than a hurricane, hurricane passing through, it was really bad. Used female hygiene products to even human feces. Raquel Runnels volunteers with Pastor Kaleo Patterson's outreach group to regularly clean the area with HPD. So if the community stopped doing cleanups, what do you expect will happen to this location? Oh, probably be trashed again. In December, the nonprofit shuttered not only operations of the building, but also their group entirely, saying in a statement, quote, Despite our best efforts, we were unable to successfully navigate the challenging landscape and financial challenges that nonprofits face in the work that we do, end quote. Almost a year later, the area's state representative, Amy Peruso, says plans for the property are still unclear. There's a lot of confusion and not a lot of information about what's happening with that building. Meantime, H&N has learned the nonprofit owes about $70,000 to the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement, who fronted money to the organization. CNHA says they're still trying to settle their losses, but communication with the nonprofit has been sporadic. Either the state can, can get uh, full site control and maybe we can have different state offices acquired and operate within that building, or there's a, also some other nonprofits in the area that would like um, to see if, the, if, if they might be able to acquire the property. State Senator Donovan Dela Cruz says if the state did acquire the building, Achieve Zero would likely first need to take care of debt it also owes to the state. Meanwhile, outreach workers with the city's core program are providing resources they hope will help get individuals into shelter. H&N has reached out to Achieve Zero, but our emails bounce back as undeliverable and their phone line is out of service. Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now.